In this video, I want to share how you can quickly and easily make best-selling Christmas designs for your Etsy store this year, just like this one. Even if you don't have any design experience at all, trust me, it's going to be so much easier than it even looks. I'm going to be using Canva Pro for this tutorial. If you don't already have Canva Pro to make your designs with, then I do have a link down in the description that will give you a 30 day free trial to get started with on Canva so you can follow along with this tutorial. So now let's jump in and show you how much other sellers are making with similar designs right now on Etsy and how much you could be making if you uploaded a similar design. We're gonna be taking a look at this Christmas sweater right here that says Merry and Bright. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Everbee Chrome extension that is an optional Chrome extension you can purchase for your Etsy business that allows you to see a couple extra metrics when it comes to the actual listings on Etsy. So it's built right into Chrome, Everbee is right here. So when I'm on a listing, I can go ahead and click Product Analytics, and it's going to pull up more information about the estimated sales that this listing has had. So you can see here, this listing is actually only two months old and has sold an estimated 1,443 times. So this is absolutely huge. That's almost an estimated monthly revenue of $14,000 just from this one listing. Now I know what you're probably thinking. That's a super cute design, but I can't make anything like that. That's where my favorite resource for my print-on-demand business comes in handy, which is creativefabrica.com. I know I talk about them a ton on my channel, but seriously, having access to millions of different graphics and fonts for your print-on-demand business really is priceless. And I do have a code for you down in the description below for Creative Fabrica as well get 10 free downloads when you use my link and then it actually activates a $9.99 per month promotion where you only pay $10 per month for the unlimited graphics and fonts to use in your Etsy business. So what we're going to be looking for on Creative Fabrica is Christmas alphabet letters. So you can go to Creative Fabrica and type in Christmas alphabet letters yourself and take a look at all of the gorgeous options that there are. But I did find a few really nice options for this tutorial. So this first one here has four different complete alphabets in these different styles. This one here has kind of more of the retro font that's really popular this year. We have this one as well that also has four complete alphabet sets. And then lastly, this really cute one that's kind of more just red and white. So all of these would be great options for this tutorial, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this first example here. So once you go ahead and sign up for Creative Fabrica, you'll be able to download and use items just like this whenever you want. You just have to make sure that you understand the licenses for each type of design. So make sure you go ahead and click on the licenses before you use anything to make sure you have a good understanding of what you're allowed to do with that. This one in particular has a commercial and full print on demand usage rights allowed. So I can go ahead and use this any way I like in my Etsy store. So I'm gonna go ahead and download these graphics to my computer and then we're gonna open up Canva. So when you're in Canva, you wanna go ahead and create a new design. So I like to make all of my designs this custom size and I like to make mine 4,500 by 5,400 pixels wide. And I'm gonna go ahead and click create a new design. So this is going to open up a new canvas for us to design on. And what you wanna think of this kind of white piece of paper is the square where the design is gonna go on your shirt. So you wanna kind of design across it as if this is the chest and then coming down to the stomach, just so you can kind of imagine what you're doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a new folder for these letters because I want them to be saved in a folder so I can easily access them to design with later. So you can go to your projects and from here you can go ahead and click on your folders and you can go ahead and click a create new folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and name this Christmas Alphabet and click create folder. So now that I have that folder created, I'm gonna go ahead and open it. And then I'll go ahead and open up my downloads. So here you're gonna have four different sets, one for each of those alphabets. You can go ahead and open up alphabet one. And what we'll do is we'll actually just select all of the letters and then we can drag and drop them in here into Canva. And now all of those are gonna upload at once. 
I'm also gonna go ahead and create a new folder inside of Christmas Alphabet for the other colors since I don't want them getting all mixed up. I feel like that would be confusing. So I'm gonna do red and green. I'll make another folder for just the red letters and one more for the stripe letters. And I'll go ahead and I'll upload the three other alphabets into those folders. So we never wanna copy anyone exactly with our designs. We wanna try and bring something new and unique to the search results. That way we stand out when customers are looking for their items. So what I wanted to do was kind of mix this idea that this design has, where it has the fun, colorful alphabet letters instead of just a normal font. And then I found another bestseller that I thought this type of font would work really well with. So there was this bestseller right here, Mary Teacher Bright Students. So again, please don't all go copy this exact thing, but I did wanna do a specific example. And so I thought this one could be a really fun idea that we could remake and kind of mix together the two bestsellers to make our own unique version. So one by one, I'm gonna go ahead and just pull over all of the letters that I'm gonna be using for the first word, which is gonna be Mary. So now that I have all five of my letters I'm gonna use for the first word pulled into my document, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight them so I can resize all of them smaller all at once. And then you'll just go ahead and drag out the letters that you need into the spaces that you want. So you could go ahead and use different colors for each of the letters, you know, like the, the red or the stripe. But for this one, I do want to do all green for the first one. And you will see that Canva gives you these nice lines to make sure that you know that they are nice and lined up. So before we bring in the cursive, let's go ahead and grab our letters for the word bright. So we'll go ahead and grab each one, super simple, just click on it. That way it goes ahead and puts them all in a nice stack for us. And then, like I said, we'll do the same thing we did before. We'll go ahead and highlight these and resize them to try and get them a similar size to the other letters. That looks good to me. And then we'll go ahead and space those out just like we did before. Once we have the letters the way we want them, I'm gonna go ahead and group these together. So go ahead and highlight all of the letters and you can just click group for the bright and now group for Mary. Now we can go ahead and move this as a whole word and make sure that it's centered instead of having to move each individual letter after this. So then we wanna go ahead and add that cursive. So you can just click the letter T on your keyboard and that's gonna pull up a text box so this was Mary teacher, so we're gonna do teacher, and we're gonna find a nice cursive to use for our design. So I found this font, Twinkling Stars. I'm not sure if this is a Canva font or if it's one I've downloaded from Creative Fabrica in the past. So if you can't find it on Canva, then the only other place I ever get fonts is on Creative Fabrica's website. So I went ahead and said Mary teacher, then I'll go ahead and duplicate this so it's the same size and say bright students. And then you can just make this a little bit bigger to fit the letters and center it. I think I want this overlapped on top of the word Mary, so I'll just go ahead and move this up a little bit. So I'll go ahead and move teacher up a little bit, word bright up a little bit, and then students and kind of overlap this again on top. So I think I want these black letters to pop a little bit more against the words that they're on top of. So all I'm gonna do is go ahead and change this text to white. Then I will duplicate the letters and make those letters black. And it automatically kind of offsets it a little bit here. So let me just zoom in and show you what that looks like. So now it's got a tiny white border around the letters that come up here and all the way around it. So that way it just makes those black letters pop just a little bit better against those letters. So I'll do that with this one here as well with students. So all I'm gonna do is change this to white, duplicate the letters, change these letters to black, now let's go ahead and save our design and add it to a mock-up. So to do that, you click this share button, you click download, you want it on PNG file, and you're gonna click transparent background and go ahead and click download. So that's gonna make sure that the background of this design is clear, that way we're not printing this whole white box onto a sweater. 
So now we're gonna actually upload that PNG that we just downloaded into Canva. So you can just come to your downloads folder and you can drag that right into Canva. And then we're gonna add that right on top of a mock-up. So a mock-up is a picture of a shirt or a sweatshirt or whatever item that you're selling that you go ahead and add your design on top of to pretend that it's already made. So you go ahead and just click this PNG here, add it on top and then we just lower the opacity about 10% to make it look a little bit more realistic like the ink is actually printed into the shirt. And then there we have it is our beautiful best-selling design that's based off of other things we've seen work for other people but is our own unique creation. Now if you're not sure where to actually purchase these mock-ups, you can purchase them right on Etsy's website. There's tons of stores that sell gorgeous mock-ups. I do have the link to my mock-up store with a discount code for all of my subscribers as well if you're interested. And then we need to go ahead and save this. So you wanna save your mock-ups actually as a JPEG, not a PNG. If you save it as a PNG, Etsy's gonna tell you that the design is too large to upload to Etsy. So make sure you choose JPEG and go ahead and click download. And then one more bonus for you, there's also some really gorgeous circle monogram letters available on Creative Fabrica's website. So I found these ones that I really liked. It kind of looks like an ugly Christmas sweater. And you can go ahead and add those into any personalized listing. So then customers would actually put in their initials and you would personalize this every time someone orders it. And I think they are gorgeous. If you check on Etsy monogrammed shirts sell super, super well. So this could be another great addition to your store for Christmas time. If you're not sure how to sell personalized orders though, I will go ahead and link my personalized orders tutorial down in the description below. I really hope this quick and easy design tutorial helps you make plenty of new, amazing, beautiful designs for Christmas and beyond because Creative Fabrica does have a lot of really gorgeous designs just like these letters for lots of different holidays and occasions. So this doesn't have to be just for Christmas. And again, I do have that free trial code for you down in the description, and then it renews at $10 per month, which is such a steal for the millions of graphics and fonts that you get to use in your print-on-demand business. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe so you can see more tutorials like this in the future. And as always, thank you so much for staying all the way until the end, and I'll see you in the next one.